Can you believe it is almost time for the Nordstrom anniversary sale? I am so excited. This is almost as good as Christmas. This video is part one. It's where I cover clothing, including outerwear, lingerie, jammies, and then part two is going to have accessories, shoes, and makeup. These are straight leg ponty pants from CC. And I don't know about you, but for me, these things are really hit or miss. And the slit in the front is kind of interesting. You know, this is one of those, I am just gonna have to try it on and see what it looks like. But I do need a good pair of black pants for going out or, you know, just because. I have never owned any rag and bone jeans. I don't even know if I've tried any on, but these high-waisted boyfriend jeans interest me. You know, I have a pretty good wardrobe of skinny jeans and some great flared jeans, but I am looking for some new silhouettes, and so this one caught my interest. Here is another interesting silhouette from Rag and Bone. These say they have an ultra high waist. Let's be honest, those of us that grew up in the 80s, we love our high waisted stuff. It holds everything in. Who doesn't love that? And again, um, yeah, I don't know if these are going to make me look shorter or if they're going to be really cool looking. So I'm going to have to try them on. These are jeans from NYDJ, the Maryland straight leg jeans. These sold out last year. I was never able to pick up a pair. And so I um, am hoping to have better luck this year. One thing I noticed though, and I'm a little worried about this, you know, when you see the rear view, if they can't even make the model look like she's got a decent behind in the shot, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us, does it? Paige is one of my favorite brands of jeans and I already own these. These are the high-waisted flare leg jeans. Oh my gosh. I look amazing in these jeans, if I do say so myself. These are my going out jeans, date night jeans, going out with the girls and want to look good. I've got some great high heeled boots that I put them with and I usually pair them with a Veronica Beard jacket and I feel like a million bucks. These are also from Paige. These are the Manhattan high waist boot cut jeans. And again, this is not something I have represented in my wardrobe and would love to have a pair. I am noticing though that the inseam on these is 34 and a half inches. So I will definitely have to be taking advantage of my free alterations at Nordstrom because that's about four and a half inches too long for me. These jeans are by Levi's and I cannot remember the last time I owned a pair of Levi's. I want to say middle school? Anyway, these are supposed to be rib cage, high waist, ankle, straight leg jeans. And again, I really like the silhouette and I know Angie Hot and Flashy loves her Levi's, so maybe I will give these a try. Longeance is another brand of jean I absolutely love, and these fit me the best. And these flare jeans are ones I already own. I really appreciate having kind of the full wardrobe of jeans, skinny jeans, straight leg flares, and unlike my page that I need to wear heels with, I had these hemmed so I could wear them with flats. With just a touch of spandex, 1%, they really give a beautiful fit. These blank NYC Baxter ribcage straight leg jeans might be a nice alternative to those ones from Rag and Bone. I own one pair of blank NYC jeans and I'm impressed with the quality of the denim. It's a heavy denim and the price point on these is much better than that Rag and Bone. And I did find one pair of shorts I wanted to include, which are these cut off Frayhem denim shorts from Frame. They're a little on the spendy side, but I like that they're cut a little bit longer. That's more my comfort zone, and denim shorts are still growing strong this year. 
This is the Ellis Organic Cotton Button-Up Shirt from Rails. I own a couple of Rails button-up shirts and I really like them and I gotta say that button-up, button-down shirts are not my thing. I am much more a knit kind of t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt kind of girl, and I have been surprised at how much I like wearing these. And this looks so comfortable. I like that little bit of texture and the color looks so pretty. This is the Hunter Plaid button-up shirt, also from Rails. These shirts are so soft. They are 100% rayon, which I know sounds like it's a man-made fabric, but it's not. It's a natural fiber. It's actually made from wood fiber, and they just have the softest hand to them. And as you can see, they come in a wide variety of plaids and one camo. This is a floral long sleeve peasant blouse by Treasure and Bond. And if you didn't know, Treasure and Bond is one of the Nordstrom owned house brands. I like the no collar and the V-neck on this. What I need to see in person though is what this floral kind of subtext pattern is in the background. If you like the looks of the plaid rails shirts, but not the price tag with those, this shirt from Treasure and Bond, the plaid boyfriend shirt, is a really nice alternative. And it also comes in a couple different plaids. I happen to think this blouse is something special. It's from Vince. It is the band collar silk blouse. And so yes, it just has a band collar and then there is that V in the front. It appears that there is just one button down low that keeps that V from being too terribly deep. I think it's classic in white. I am in love with this deep navy. And then of course, black. It's a bit of a splurge, but it just looks divine. This is the Raw Edge Tank from Halogen. It is such a nice detail and change from just a plain tank. It really gives it something special. I did not like the material on last year's version of this and I'm hoping that they changed it for this year. Also, I am not sure about the back of this. I'm not crazy about how it's kind of scooped out and looks a little bit like a racer back. It comes in a ton of colors and patterns. This is a blouse I love. This is the Puff Sleeve Mixed Media Top by CC, and I own it in a couple of colors. I'm glad to see it back this year because that means I'm still on point. I'm showing you my three favorite colors, but it does come in a couple other ones. This is another top that I am going to have to see in person, try on. It is a smocked sheer top from One State. And this green looks amazing. And of course, it looks really stunning in black. And I can see this, you know, like they show it with jeans and it looks great with jeans, you know, fun night out with the girls or pair it with a beautiful skirt and you've got a fabulous evening outfit. I am a little concerned about it being too short though. This is the Cozy Chic Light Long Cardigan from Barefoot Dreams. And if you don't own one of these, I think you're missing out. I have three of them. They are so cozy. In fact, as I am editing, I am wearing one because we are having a very cold day in Seattle. Here is a pro tip for you. If they're sold out of the size you need, buy whatever size you can, preferably in the same color, but not even that. They seem to magically get restocked on these sweaters throughout the sale or even after the sale. So pick one up, grab the sale price. You can always exchange it later. This is another classic from Nordstrom. It is the Open Front Pocket Cardigan by Halogen. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I own it in four colors. I love it. It's a great layering 
piece wonderful here for fall and spring just a classic would there be anything more decadent than a cashmere blend hoodie i don't know about you but pan the pandemic gave me a whole new love of hoodies and this one from nordstrom signature is 89% cashmere, 10% nylon, and 1% spandex. And I love this olive color. Plus, you're gonna see it comes with a matching skirt. And let's start with that matching cashmere skirt from Nordstrom Signature. It only comes in the olive. It does not come in the same ivory shade that the hoodie came in, but this looks so comfortable. This is a super sexy slip skirt from Vince. And it comes in the same colors as that silk blouse, but this skirt is made from 100% acetate. So it's gonna have a similar feel and movement to silk, but have a little more durability. When I saw this dress on the screen, I fell in love and dearly wished I had somewhere to wear it. This is a V-neck pleated dress by Vince. I think this gray is a really interesting color. It is the only color that this comes in. If you want to have a winter North Face jacket, it is hard to beat the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. This is the Miss Metro 2 hooded water resistant down parka. I have the version of this jacket from three years ago. It is still going strong. I wash it all the time. These are great jackets and this is the length I prefer. I like something to come down over my butt, down to my thighs, keep me warm, but it's still easy to get in and out of the car in the winter time. From Avec La Fille, this faux shearling long line coat. Oh, this looks so warm and so fun. What a great coat to add to your wardrobe. Also from Avec La Fille, this hooded long line puffer vest. I got one of these last year and I was pleasantly surprised at how often I used it. It gives you warmth, but sometimes you don't want the full parka. Just the vest will do. And another winter coat vest. This is a belted long line vest from the Nordstrom brand. It looks like it's wool, but it's actually a polyester and rayon blend with only 13% wool, but I imagine it's quite warm. From Nordstrom Signature is this textured double face wool and cashmere coat. It's 90% wool, 10% cashmere. This looks so chic. What a gorgeous coat, provided that you don't need it to actually close in the front. The sale can be a great time to stock up on basics or try some new stuff. My friend Sayuri says that these from Hanky Panky are really comfortable. There's signature boy shorts, retro lace bikini, and signature bikini. I'm really anxious to try this bear tank from Nordstrom brand. It comes in a wide variety of colors. It is made of nylon and spandex. I don't know if it's enough support to go without a bra, but it looks like it's a good layering piece, either for warmth or for modesty. I have heard so many YouTubers rave about these Nordstrom Moonlight Eagle short pajamas. I figured this is the year I need to try them. The hard part will be picking which one because they come in so many fun colors and patterns. And of course, they also come in a pant and long sleeve version, also in the same fun colors and patterns. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe so you catch part two, and you might enjoy this video I did on an Amazon top haul, or this playlist of all of my fashion videos.